them. What you do with your rocks? Well, there's one. Where's the rest of them? Where did you put the rest? Tyler Ingram with some beautiful rocks. Yeah. Where did you get those? Did mommy get those for you? Okay. Oops, you dropped them. Where did you get them at? Huh? You don't know. Did daddy get them for you? Did daddy tell you to bring them to Sunday school? <laughs> <laughs> kind of okay. like David, maybe. Selecting his rocks for the big fight. Yeah. Except I think Tyler's are down here on the floor somewhere. <laughs> grandpa Hills? Yeah, he's our grandma. Let, let me see you. He's your grandma. Hold it up. Oh, that's a pretty purse. I thought Grandpa Hills was your grandpa. He is. Grandma. Grandma and Grandpa. Well, sure, Grandma and Grandpa is your Grandma and Grandpa, aren't they? Now, let's go sit down at the table, okay? And we got a purse. Huh? My Bible! Your, well, that's a good thing to bring to Sunday school, isn't it? Your Bible. Okay, let's see. How many's here today? How many do we have? Can we count them today? Let's count. Everybody count. Tyler, one, One, two, two three. Four. So we got four in here today, haven't we? So we'll put give you a little sticker to put on your thing. What do you want to pick out today to put on your giraffes? You're going to pick an elephant today, huh? Okay, Savannah, your name is right there, so you'll put it right there on that spot because you're here today. Now we got them elephants upside down, but that's okay. That's a good job. Emmy, I, I like them. What would you like to pick out to put on yours? Oh, you're going to get a big tall giraffe with a big long neck. Uh, um, I saw some goats and my nose and my mouth. Put it right there, honey. Okay. There you are. Thank you. Tyler or monkey. I bet you like monkeys. You like monkeys? No, I like. What's which? What is that? A cow. What do you know? What a cow gives that you might drink? Yeah. What does a cow give? No. Milk. There's all the kind of animals so that we have food to eat and drink. So now you put your cow on right there in that sticker hole. Oh, okay, right there. Right here. Lick it. You gotta lick it. That away. Now you gotta lick this side or it won't stick. Mm. That away. Now you gotta put it on. Sharon's not gonna put it on for you. You gotta put it on yourself. Right there. Oh, and you got him the right way. Now, that's we've got lots of kind of animals on here, haven't we? We've got a kitty cat. And what's these things? Giraffe. Giraffes. The other week about the fish. Can you get, who who would uh who was the guy that went into that fish's belly? What was his name? Was it Moses that went into fish? No. Noah? Well, what was his name? Samuel. No. Who was it? Jonah. Jonah. And how come he went into the fish's belly? What, what was he doing? Where'd he go? Remember? God told him to go to this place, Nineveh, and tell the people about Jesus. Did he go? What did he do? He got on a what? He got on a boat and he hid in the bottom of the boat from Jesus, didn't he? Did Jesus know he was down there? Yeah. So what did the men on the boat do? They threw him where? In, in, in the sea. Into the sea. And what was there to catch him? Big fish. The big fish. And then what did the fish do with him? Remember? Swallowed him. He swallowed him and he was in there. Do you remember how many days and nights he was in that fish's belly? Is it three days? Three nights? 
and then to this shore, and then what did that fish do with Jonah? How did he go? <laughs> well, say it. Did he keep him in his belly? Oh, what did he do with him? He spit his tongue out and he went right on the shore. He spit his tongue out and spit old Jonah right on the floor, didn't he? Right on the shore there. And then Jonah told the people to cause. For all our sins. For all our sins. Now, can you tell me what a sin is? We talked about that a couple weeks ago. And what is a sin? Is it when you're being good? Oh, is it? Now, does mommy and daddy spank you for being good? Do they really? Oh boy, you got a tough mom and dad if they spank you for being good. When they get out of bed, they spank me. When they get out of bed, they spank <laughs> you. <laughs> now, I don't believe that, Savannah. I bet you the only time you get a spanking is when <coughs> mommy and daddy says, now, Savannah, it's time to go to bed or pick up your toys, and you don't do it. You disobey, right? I'll tell you a story. No, no, you listen to me. Does mom and daddy spank you when you obey? They do? Well, goodness gracious, I don't have to talk to mom and dad. I, huh? They spank you when you're a good girl. Oh, I'll be. That, isn't that something, Scott? That is. Do you get lots of spankings then, I bet, don't you? Because you're a good girl. Well, do you ever get spankings when you're a bad girl? Do you? Well, see, that's, <laughs> see, that's why Jesus died on the cross, when we disobey. Any time. Emily Cather and Emily got her picture taken yesterday, didn't you? Huh? And did you wear this pretty dress? Isn't that pretty? Did you smile at the man when he took your picture? Can you show me how he smiled? Did you smile real big? Let me see how big you smile. That's a way. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a good smile? <laughs> I'll bet that picture will be pretty. With such a pretty little girl in a pretty little dress. And what's that? Doggy. That's a doggy, isn't it? How can you tell me how doggies go? <coughs> they go hard, don't they? <laughs> That's a, what is that, Emmy? A girl. A what? Yeah. That's a cow. Oh, blue cow, isn't it? Gives us milk and ice cream. Yeah. And that's a tiger, I, isn't no. it? And a zebra. Now, do you want... Do you want... Cows eat... Yes, aren't they? And the mother duckling hatched them. Mother duckling hatched them, that's right. And cows. And what? Turtles. Turtles? See? And their mama had eggs. Yeah. Sunday school today for daddy? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. You gonna have you gonna ask mommy and daddy to come to Sunday school with you next Sunday? To see if they will sit in here and she see. Go bye -bye. She go bye-bye. She go who goes bye-bye? Bye. Mommy go bye-bye? And -bye? daddy. And daddy? Well, Maybe they'll come next Sunday and sit in here and see all the fun things we do. You suppose? Look, Tyler. You gonna ask mommy, daddy? You gonna ask mommy and daddy to come? Okay. That would be nice if they come in and see what all we do. What's your name? Savannah. Who? Okay. What does your daddy do? What's, what's daddy's job? Do you remember? What? To work. Okay. Is daddy and mommy going to come in here and see all the fun things you do next week? Huh? Uh-huh. You think daddy's a pretty good guy? Huh? You really like him? You really like him. How much? A whole big bunch or just a little bit? Just a little bit. Now, I bet you like Daddy more than that, don't you? <laughs> You're being ordinary, aren't you? Uh, how about Mommy? Do you like Mommy? How much do you like Mommy? Whole big bunch. And I bet you love Mommy and Daddy both a whole big bunch, don't you? Yeah. 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 I'm going to
She's three years old and she's going to be, how many is that then? Um, four. She's going to be four, aren't she? Be four long. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm going to be four and I'm going to have my next birthday. You're going to be four on your next birthday. Okay, well, you'll have to tell Mommy and Daddy to come in and see what all we're doing here, will you? Scott, what's your name is? What is your name? Is your name Tyler? Yeah. And can you tell me, is Mommy and Daddy going to come in here and see how, what all the fun things we do next Sunday? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Do you love your Daddy? Yeah. How much do you love your Daddy? You love him a whole big bunch? Yeah. Yeah. How about Mommy? Uh -huh. How? Hey. How, how much? Just three big bunches? Yeah. yeah. How about big brother? Upstairs. He's upstairs? Uh huh. No. Do you love, do you love your brother? Yeah. Yeah. Do you love Jesus? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. A pretty nice guy. That's why we come to Sunday school and learn about Jesus, isn't it? Huh? Oh, it's Mommy, uh -huh. Mommy always be my teacher. Mommy be your teacher? Does she? Okay. Could anybody else do magic things? Anybody else that Jesus could Could anybody else do that? No. No. No, just no you Jesus. Didn't do. No, because Jesus has the power. They were able to get up and to see everything that they hadn't been able to see before. They could hear lots of things, but they couldn't see. Now this morning, Scott's here, and we're going to act out. And in here, we try to uh, get the children to sit down to hear a story to teach them some basic things about the Bible, the parts of the Bible, and so on and so forth. We've been working for several weeks on Bible stories, and so today we'd like to act out a story that we've learned today <coughs> about the blind men and Jesus healing the blind men, and the whole class has a part in this little playlet here. Well, yeah, we need some healing on the elbow later during prayer time, maybe. Both of their eyes are shut because they can't see. Jesse she can't yeah. see you while we do Okay, both eyes shut. This is the person portraying Jesus who will do the healing, and this is the crowd who's here to watch all this happen. Okay, boys, you can talk to Jesus here. We're glad. I'm glad you're here. Okay. Jesus, 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 Listen. Jesus, Jesus, please help us. Hey, Jesus, I think you okay. should go see the blind man. They have a problem. What did he ask him? What would you want me to do for you? You want to see. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Jesus is just touching them. And look what happened. They can see. 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 <laughs> this is Chris. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. This is Chris and Andy Merchant. And next week they're going to be visiting their mother. Uh, so they may not be with us at the time everyone's watching this. But we're very happy to have Chris and Andy in our class. Okay, boys, you want to walk down here? This is Ryan Ingram, and I would imagine his mother and dad will be coming in next Sunday, don't you think, Ryan? Okay. This is Tammy Williams, and I'm sure her mother and dad will be here next Sunday, right? Okay. This is Chrissy Dunica. She has a new baby sister, and I'm sure her parents will be here next Sunday, right? Okay. This is Amanda Capper, and her mother will be splitting up her time with all of her children in the classes, but we look forward to seeing her mother in here. And Jesse Carnes, and I'm sure his mother will be here also to see him. Yes. To go. I love you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Uh, I'm Rhea Merchant, and this is my 
first and second grade class. And I'm going to introduce all some of my students that's here today. Not for sure. This is Bobby Whitney. And Bobby, will you tell us who your mom and dad are? It's Donna Whitney and Sam Barger. And what uh, grade are you in school? Can you put your hands down so everybody can see your pretty face? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And this is Ryan Green. Ryan, can you tell us who your mom and dad are? Um, w and Max. Okay. Listen, I'm saying I'm in a show. Hey, Ryan, you got any funny stories about, uh, we'll say, maybe your dad? Anything funny that he's done? Um. He tripped and fell one time and busted some eggs or something like that? Yeah, sort of like that. Like one time, um, I, la I laid um, an, a, a banana thing on the floor, a banana peel. He slipped on it. So you sort of laid a trap for him. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. Jill Cards and Jill, would you tell us who your mom and dad are? Yeah, yeah they you know. Jimmy Cards. What grade are you in this year? First. Oh, First grade. she's in. Um, she's. What's so your dad? Do you have any brothers or sisters? I have two brothers and one sister. Okay. What's her name? Andy and Jesse and Joey. Okay. Oh, Jesse. Can you tell me? But we need to do that. Mm-hmm. Can you do it? I'm, I'm making a 60 foot 2,000 clover. We're making clovers today since it's St. Patrick's Day. And does anybody tell them what that says on our uh, clover? It's God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to whoever will believe in him will still not fail with. I hope you know your mom's going to hear that. It also says God answers prayers. <laughs> Because we've been studying about Elijah, we were studying how Elijah answers our prayers. And so far on Elijah, we have the state of peace and the power of God, the banner of obedience, love, the world of peace and the power of the cross, the banner of obedience, love, the world Who's there? Boo. Boo who? You can cry. <laughs> well, I'm all cast line. My wife, Brenda cast line, we teach in third and fourth grade. And today we wrote a letter about how they appreciate their parents. Mm -hmm. Are you there? I'm that close. I'm that close. My mom, my, my dad takes me fishing. My mom takes me on picnics. I like my mom and dad. Dog fish. Here's why I love my parents. Dear mom and dad, thanks for your love and your care and love. I love you. This is a red light from the sugar sweet and sweet. Dear mom and dad, I appreciate you because you are a nice family to be with. I love you a lot. I love you because you are a nice pa you are a nice parent. I like the allowance you give me. I like you because you you 
Let me watch TV. I love you. I love the things you do. Jack. Dear Mom and Dad, I really appreciate you because you're always there for me. <coughs> you get me great things. You buy me clothes. You let me stay up late. I appreciate you because you're very nice to me. You take me places. I really love you. Love Kendra. I do have. Dear Mom and Dad, I appreciate you for buying me clothes and food and being so nice to me. Thank you so much for my Christmas presents. I appreciate you for taking me out. I love you. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hi, Mom and Dad. We love you. Fifth. Sixth, seventh, and eighth graders of Grace Baptist Church Sunday School class. And your name is Martin Ingram. Okay. And this is your wife Debbie back there in the corner. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, some enthusiasm. Say. <laughs> 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 <laughs>